punch me. I was about to get jumped by some preppy prat. Come on, there we go. We don't. We didn't need to see that, you know. We've already seen it. So come on. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh well, at least somebody has nicked my bike this time. Although that was actually when I got to see the greasers in in a uh, old no New Bullworth. I don't know in Bullworth Place, in somewhere. Um, and then they got annoyed with me. And, yeah, it wasn't fun when they got annoyed with me. Oh, yeah, look at this. Because they were all like, hey, why are you showing your face here? And stuff. And I was all like, huh? And they said, oh, yeah, well, we'll let you. We won't try and beat you up now because you helped out us by getting that guy for us that we wanted because he's one of our friends that I can't remember the name of uh, because he has no importance to me uh, what's his name um I don't know I can't remember his name it yeah I really can't remember his name um it wasn't Billy I don't know Johnny, that's the one. The townies? Really? Yeah. And Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this beating. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Okay. Well, did you see that preppy guy that was basically throwing eggs at everybody? Uh whilst you know, we were chatting. <sighs> You know, sometimes this game... Oh my gosh, I smashed that guy's window. I bet... Oh my... Oh, freaking hell. That's great, isn't it? Just... Just great. It's exactly what I need. I need to get away from these people, though. Alright, well... You know, at least... Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, come on. I need to go this way. I was almost at the mission. That was not fair. Aww. This game really isn't fair sometimes when things like this happen. And, you know, you have problems that I'm having right now. When you accidentally bump into a policeman. And then everybody gets really annoyed at you. Right, well, uh, now that we've managed to escape the authority, that's good. So, let's actually go and do the mission then. And hopefully we have no hiccups along the way, which is usual for me. Still not a good thing, but it's a, a usual thing. It's getting to be something that happens more and more often, uh, all the time. It's never, never good though, like I said. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go, he's dead. Alright, now I need to get out my camera so that I can take a picture of these guys. Uh, you know, putting the stuff in the crates. Uh, let's, let's crouch. And, um, oh my god, what, I was stuck. There we go. Oh right, you can't move when, you, when you're using the camera. Okay, I have to hide so that these guys don't see me, and then we travel to the docks. Oh yeah, uh, let's do it. Okay, so that these guys. Oh, but yeah, I, like I said, I still have to make sure these guys don't see me. That would not be good. Really, would not be good. Not good for me. Well, I mean, not good for them either, but. I mean, well, it's going to be far worse for them if they don't see me. But bad. Very bad for me if they do see me. Alright, so yeah, we're going to... Right, so... Um... Yeah, well, I mean, we're... Oh my gosh. Well, we're at the docks, basically. Um... 
So uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's make our way to the specific area that we're supposed to be going to. Um, oh right, we're here. What the heck? You are so dead. Oh right, they're burning the trophies. I have to beat this guy up. Come on. Why do all of these guys look the same? It's because they all go to the same... You know, they all steal their clothes from the same shop. Uh, that's why. Uh, there we go. How do I... Okay, apparently this is a bad photo. Alright, well let's go back to the boxing gym then so that we can tell the... Uh, uh, preppies. Well, we'll show the preppies what's happened. And that I am not to blame for everything that's happened to them. Or, you know, happened to their boxing gym. And then I can show the nerds that they were the ones that put the um, stuff in the library. So that they know that wasn't me as well. Because, I mean, you know, whenever anything happens, anybody... or well, people in this game always suspect that we were the ones that did it. Which... Clearly isn't fair, you know. Seeing as we definitely weren't the people that did it, it's always the townies. I mean, everything now in this section of the game is due to the townies. Which is some other people that Gary's probably been... Uh, manipulating to think that I... Or, you know, manipulating anyway. Uh, for his own benefit, so that he can get the rewards of them being so crazy which uh, isn't good you know or isn't isn't right it's not right at all yeah okay so but anyway um yeah now let's go to the class which is the gym it's almost well it is night time I was gonna say it's almost a uh, curfew time uh, right now, you know, it's almost 8 o'clock, uh, I believe curfew is at 9 o'clock, uh, which in this game is a little unfair, or well, it's not unfair to be honest, actually it adds uh, an element to the game, which I think is good, you know, it's like, oh, you have to be in bed at this certain time, so, you know, I mean, to be honest, the reason why I think they put the curfew rule in is to try and make people play more classes uh, because otherwise people would just do missions all night and stuff and so that people don't um, get the bad things that happen uh, from doing stuff yeah well Popper what did you find yeah who took our trophies don't tell me it was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fun babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> well, these people are still annoying. How do I get respect for them? Because they're still acting uh, the same, which is annoying. But anyway, I'm going to go back to school. Uh, so that I can save it because I am going to be ending it here oh yeah basically well I'm gonna go to the school and then I'm, I'm gonna go to the school then save it then end it um, so yeah 
well for today because I've decided to and that's the way it goes so yeah anyways um, I will be oh wait let's see what my percentage is at 51 anyway I'll see you guys next time